fun for a video um, to take you guys on like a hike with me and December. December? December? December! Anyway, um, so it is almost noon. We chose the hottest time of the day and um, we're taking Desi on a hike and we're gonna sketch and we're gonna film. I say we because my boyfriend's here. He's helping do all the filming. Check out his channel, Derek Anderson. It's awesome. So yeah, I hope you guys like this. I had a lot of people say they liked my previous video with the um, more real time vibe. So I'm gonna include some more of that. And I also had quite a lot of people say that they um, liked my vlog style videos. So I thought this seemed like a good combination of both. And we're doing some sketching. We're getting out into nature. So I hope that you guys like this video. Don't know what I'm gonna draw yet, but we'll find out. So when we got to the drawing spot, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to draw, but I decided to shy away from my natural instinct to draw pretty girls and I started sketching what I saw immediately in front of me, which was trees and more trees. Um, but I thought there was a cute little mini scene happening there, so I just sketched really, really loosely and then immediately went in with watercolor pencils. A lot of times I like to sort of block out colors and shapes in watercolor pencils and then add in a lot more detail on top with my watercolors. I find that it's a really good way to get my thoughts out right at the beginning of the process without con like confining myself too much um, and without getting too bogged into the details when I'm sketching. Um, I find it's really useful for landscapes because I always want to like draw every single leaf and get everything perfect and I get overwhelmed. So just going in really loosely with watercolor pencils, I think is a really great way to start when you're feeling really overwhelmed with a sketch. Um, especially if it's something really loose like a landscape. And for me personally, I was trying more to just capture the overall feel of the little area that I was in and just kind of get an impression of what it was like. Right. Okay. It's a drone, Desi! Oh no. Oh no. Desi, leave it, 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 leave it! <laughs> she spilled some of my water in my lap, so it's like all in my crotch. Oh no. And all over my filming area. And I got it all on camera. We're um we're at the place. Let me stop my camera. It's recording. Derek is recording some drone footage, and Desi here just knocked over my portable painter while we were filming. Did you try to catch the drone? Did Did you think it was a, something you could chase? Yeah. Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to this painting, which isn't looking like a whole lot yet, and my sitting spot is wet now. <laughs> so after I had refilled my water, after the little mishap that we had, um, which was funny because she spilled it like so many times, but anyway, I went in with my black velvet paintbrush. I think this is size four or six, I'm sorry, I don't remember. Um, and just some water and wet those watercolor pencils and just kind of mushed everything about. Um, I wasn't too concerned about being careful or exact at this point. I was mostly just trying to get down some basic colors um, and get a very sketchy impression of where I was potentially going with this sketch. Um, and these are the Arteza Woodless watercolor pencils that I used um, in this before. Those are the kind that I always 
um, use when I'm like traveling or working in my sketchbook generally. Um, they're just great to use when you're out and about. So then I went in with my portable painter using my Dan Smith paints. Um, by the way, this video isn't sponsored or anything. I just like to name the products that I'm using. Um, and also all my products will be linked down below in my description box as well. So if you do want to know any of the products um, and get any links to those um, that I have available, they will be down in the description box. And they are affiliate links as well. Um, there's like a little description at the bottom that says more about them but basically if you do buy stuff through those links I do um, get a small pr uh, commission off of that and it doesn't cost you guys any extra money at all so it's a really great way to support my channel actually um, if you're interested in supporting my channel and you are gonna buy some art supplies anyway take a look and see if I have a link to it <laughs> um, so anywho uh, that was like a weird ramble about affiliate links <laughs> But I started to block in the foliage with the Dan Smith paints um, using kind of just like a dark greenish, bluish brown kind of color. Um, and I, I really am not very good at painting foliage. It's not something that I am very skilled at. It's kind of hard for me to see. So I was just kind of trying to keep things really, really loose and not get too detailed too fast. So um, I would just kind of blur my eyes when I looked up at the scene and then try to loosely block in big areas of color. Um, and I also tried not to, like I said before, I tried to focus on catching, capturing more of like an impression of the scene so that I didn't get caught in the details of like trying to make every leaf perfect and forgetting where I was and losing kind of the momentum or the essence of the scene. I didn't want to do that. So yeah, that's kind of the approach that I had when I was doing this. Um, it was nice to sketch outside. Um, I don't sketch outside very often. Um, I definitely don't film outside very often. We had an entire backpack filled with filming supplies that we brought with us on this hike um, so that we could do this. And then there was like a bunch of like other things that we had to deal with. And <laughs> um, But it was really nice. Like I, I had a lot of fun and it's always nice to get outside and um, just kind of draw whatever's in front of you. It's good practice for me to work on something a little bit different um, and just kind of experiment. I've been trying to play around a lot more in my sketchbook especially so this was a fun opportunity to play um, and it was it was fun to play with this video like with trying all different things and trying kind of a different format I'm super excited about it um, I've been editing this for four hours now but um, I'm really really happy with how it turned out so I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it um, but back to what I'm doing. Uh, this is a rock that I'm painting and I went in with this dark green and kind of defined some of the shadows and the cracks in the rock and I used a lot of the same colors throughout just so the whole thing had a kind of cohesive look to it. Um, the tree also had some moss on it so I went in and added some moss to the tree in a little bit as well um, and just kind of yeah continued building up the shadows of the piece and just trying to capture that light that I saw before we left or before I lost it completely because with everything that happened and like all of the falling and things this took quite a bit of time um, and I didn't get as much done as I wanted to uh, before we started to kind of run out of time but I still had a good time so and the great thing about painting outside is you can take a photo and work from it later. Okay, so we're just leaving our little drawing spot. Um, Desi knocked over my water twice, both times into my lap. Um, but that's okay. She also knocked a biker off. Well, she barked and the biker fell off their bike, so that was awkward. Um, so I got a, a little bit done. Do you see this? What is happening right now? I got, sorry. I got, you guys took me out. I know. I got the first part done of the sketch, uh, of the little sketch that I was doing, and I'm gonna um, kind of finish it up a little bit at home, I think, in my uh, in my studio. So um, I'll see you guys there to finish up the rest of it. Okay, so obviously, as I said, I came back and finished this in my studio. So I am back in my studio and. 
Um, I just took a photo of this, like of the scene right in front of me on my phone. Um, and then I just kind of used that as reference. Um, I decided to go back in with my watercolors again and just build up a little bit more shading um, and just lights and darks and kind of define the rocky areas a little bit more because um, one of the things that I have a hard time with when I'm painting loosely is making sure that everything looks defined. Um, it's definitely a really difficult thing to do and it's something I'm still kind of learning. Um, but that's okay. Um, this was fun. It was a fun little experiment and I feel like I'm, I, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out at the end. Um, uh, but yeah, so <laughs> back in it, uh, going in with these watercolors down at the bottom. Um, this was such a nice hike. Like it was so nice to get outside. It was so hot. It was like insanely hot. Um, okay. It wasn't insanely hot. It's not like I live in Texas or something like that, but it was pretty warm. Um, I was definitely sweating by the end of it. By the time we were like headed back, I was just like, okay, I'm ready to be back in my air conditioned studio now. Um, but that's the great thing about painting plein air. Like I said before, like you can just go out, you can kind of get your impression of the scene and then you can come back and finish it up later. Or you can just use a, it to do like little gesture kind of thumbnail sketches and then you can make a, and take photos and then you can do a larger painting of that in your studio once you get back. Like that's a um, really good way to use outdoor sketching, um, especially if you don't want to go spend forever and ever and ever outside and get sunburned. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, so I decided to define this bush that was in the front because it really was not apparent that it was a bush. It was kind of hard because like this bush um, had a lot of bright leaves and they were kind of standing out against the background. So I was trying to make sure that that was clear. So that's why I kind of went in with the darks around it. Um, I darkened the rest of the background up a little bit more than in real life um, and then added in like the branches and stuff like that. Um, and I also wanted this tree to the right to kind of pop forward a little bit. Um, so again, just doing that. And then the way I decided to define the details after watercolor, and I thought really hard about whether or not I wanted to do this, but I decided to go for it, was I went in with a black pen on top because I was like, oh, am I going to compromise the integrity of this painting? Like, is it, should I leave it? Is this kind of loose impressionistic thing or do I want to tighten it up a little bit more and I decided I did want to tighten it up a little bit more um I don't regret that decision I do like how it turned out so um but it was definitely like I don't know I'm sure there are going to be some people that would have probably preferred me to stop here but I didn't um I went in with the pen and I added in basically some light lines around it I also added in some like cross hatching cross hatching shading type stuff especially in the rock area just to kind of give it not more not so not as much ah sorry what am I trying to say not just to give it dimension but also to give it a little bit of texture as well because it is a rock um, so I kind of wanted it to stand out a little bit differently in terms of from the leaves in terms of like having a different texture and appearing a little bit more rough and a bit more solid um, so I did a lot of work on the rock with the pen and then I went in and kind of just really, really, really loosely, um, defined some branches as well as put in some really loose kind of leaf shapes just to kind of give the appearance of foliage and like add some more like individually defined sort of leaves in there. Um, and to define the shapes of some of the foliage in there a little bit more as well. Um, and I am happy with how that turned out. I think it was a good idea. Um, I like, and I like the look of pen on top of watercolor, but I'm glad that I did the pen after because I felt like that way I was less likely, likely to use too much pen. Like by adding it after I could add it to the places that I felt needed it the most versus drawing it beforehand and then just coloring it in. I feel like it was a better way for me to get line art but still keep the expressiveness and kind of like brushiness um of the scene um so yeah and this is the it's I used it in my last video as well I believe it's the one from wish it's like the brush pen from wish that I don't know the name of um and I love this brush pen I seriously I really really do I've been using it a lot it's a good brush pen it's not waterproof I wish it was waterproof but other than that it's really good and it's dual it's dual ended, but I mostly just use this and the small end. Um, so I might order a couple more of those, honestly, because I really like them. So the last thing I did was I did go in with color pencil over the top. Um, I'm a big fan of color pencil and watercolor together. I really love 
the texture that a lot of these different mediums make when they're combined together um, and I like the visual te almost like visual texture of things that are see-through and then the more opaqueness of the colored pencil um, but it also allowed me to really add some brights um, back in to the bush especially in the front um, so I was able to push the darks um, and then really add back in some brights and some bright greens which was super super helpful for defining that bush in the front um, I just kind of like I don't know I felt like it you could see that there was a bush there but I still felt like I needed to add in the light back on top um, it probably would have been good if I planned this out to use like masking fluid or something um, but I didn't so I went back in <laughs> didn't leave enough light so I went back in with my colored pencils and yeah uh, I also used them to add in some more subtleties to the rock because there wasn't too much subtlety in the shading that was mostly mid-tone starks and then a bright highlight I wanted more subtlety in the highlight area so I went back in and added some more shading to that as well which I think also helped emphasize texture in the rock as well um, and I think that came out looking nice I really like Prisma colors um, I got a bunch of new ones so I've been having fun using them I've been really enjoying working in my sketchbook recently like this has been really fun and um, I've really been enjoying making this style of video as well um, it's I feel like I'm telling a story right now which is cool because um, it was a story it's like this is what I did and I went on the hike and I did the art and Desi almost knocked a biker off did knock a biker off scared a biker that was bad I felt bad for her and then she like fell off again and it was really sad um, anyway I'm going on a tangent now because I finished talking about the art pretty much <laughs> um, I hope you guys liked this video I liked this video um, I want to do more of these kind of videos like where I sketch in different places um, whenever I can they're a little bit more time-consuming but they are really really fun to make so I'm enjoying it um, this video is definitely going up late um, because it was supposed to go up at 11 it's definitely 4 p.m. while I'm filming this voiceover so I don't know what time it is when this goes up but I hope you enjoy it um, if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe um, come join the Wonderland fam today I upload a new art video every week can't promise what time it'll be here right now but at least every week so thanks for watching uh, yeah don't forget to leave a comment down below let me know what you guys thought um, do you like sketching in nature going on nature hikes and sketching it's fun if you haven't done it you should definitely try it out um, anyway that's it uh, what do I say at the end of these videos? <laughs> Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys!